Sneemaster! Hey everyone, Sneemaster here. We have a new concept ship from Citizen Call called the Anvil Liberator. Not to be confused with the Valkyrie Liberator variant. Believe me, it confused me at first since they are both by Anvil. It has a few Valkyrie looking features as well to make it more confusing. The Liberator is a transport ship for small spacecraft, ground vehicles, and ground troops. It even has a separate storage space off the vehicle bay that can hold 400 SCU of cargo. It appears to hold about three ships on top with extra small pads. There is space inside for up to two tanks or other smaller ground vehicles. There are 16 seats for troops in a side room as well. The ship has two large shield generators and one unknown shield generator. There are two large hydrogen fuel tanks and two large quantum fuel tanks. The wiki mentions some extra unknown fuel tanks, possibly to refuel the ships on board. It's vague, so I don't know. It also has a large quantum drive, normally designed for capital ships, so it should be able to travel very far and very fast. The listed crew is two, one pilot and someone as an engineer slash gunner. There are two bathrooms for the crew and an extra bathroom for the remaining pilots, drivers, and drop troops. There is a manned turret with size 5 laser repeaters, and there is some conflict in the info. The website says there are dual automated point defense turrets to take out missiles, but the CitizenCon presentation says there's just an extra remote turret for two turrets total. I don't know which to trust at this point, maybe it's both. Also, I'm not sure how someone can man the man turret while also running the remote turret with a crew of two, while someone else is piloting the ship. Maybe it can optionally have a larger crew? That's what I suspect. There are also four missile launchers, with possibly 16 size 3 missiles as well. And one utility hardpoint, probably for a tractor beam. The war bond price is $500, and the regular price is $575. That's definitely too expensive for many of us, but I'm sure there are orgs that could use this ship. I don't know if you can refuel or maintain any ships on the upper deck, so that could be a determining factor if someone buys it. Will it only be a giant ship transporter, or will it be an actual light carrier with maintenance? I guess we'll find out later. It's only in concept and not flyable, so there is time for data on the ship to solidify. Also, keep in mind that by the time it releases, the price could go up, and it probably will. There was no word on when it'll be released. So that was my brief preview of the Anvil Liberator. If you're new to the game, you can use my referral code for some extra in-game credits. Check out my Patreon if you want to help me upgrade my recording equipment. Alright, see ya!